Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Minyard. It's a kit in 135 scale and it copies another version of this unusual vehicle, 3 viewer from Germany. It's a Tempa E400, actually this version is named as A400, it's a leafer wagon so called, as you can see it's a delivery van. And I guess there are several markings included because here we have this uh, medical vehicle or red cross. But I can see that there are also some other markings included. And of course we have a commercial sample here, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. So it will be interesting to open it and see what is actually supplied inside. So first of all, box size is, uh, I would say, exactly the same as the previous release. So here you can see comparison with my hand. Box art as usual is quite beautiful. And here on the side you can see some information about manufacturer and also address of this um, Minyard office, some safety advices, barcode, QR code and on the opposite page or side you can see four Actually, it's five marking options. I was not counting the uh, white with red wheels, but actually that's a different marking option as you can see even though the only the uh, wheels color is different here. So it's a top opening box. So let's open it and here is what we have inside. So there are all spruce which are packed into the same sealed plastic bag and we have assembly manual on the bottom but we will talk about it a bit later we are going to start with plastic parts and then as i said gradually we will move on to other components as well so just give me a second to cut through this plastic bag and we will start in the meantime i can remind you that this is a i would say relatively new plastic kit it was announced in the end of the last year, it means 2021, and now we have uh, already a second version. And frankly speaking, this is a really surprising model because, I mean, while all other brands are focused on quite typical subjects, Minyard decided to go brave and copy something different. So, we are going to start with this nice single piece part. I will zoom in so that you can check it closer. Here we have slightly different type of the bonnet because as you can see it's uh, slightly squarish and has this, let's say, plate for the license plate integrated. And why it is different? Because previous uh, first release of this vehicle it was uh, with rounded uh, bonnet and also we had a uh, radiator mesh divided into two halves here we have it as a single piece part maybe it will be easier for some modellers and of course inside there is pretty much nothing because i mean it was like this on the real vehicle next we continue with a bigger plastic sprue so this one is dedicated to road wheels and various engine parts so, as you remember, this vehicle is quite special because it has a small engine right on the front wheel. And that's why we have this uh, special shaft which will be uh, copying the main drivetrain of this, you know, let's say, power plant. Here we have some minor parts. And yes, their size is not that huge, but the overall assembly and molding quality, they are quite good. This kit is well thought. So I don't think you have any issues here. And by the way, this design of the road wheels, it does not help with any masking. So if you would like to get a precise finish, you will have to get your own masking templates, I guess. And here you can see also some wheel fenders which will be installed on the front wheel. And that's a radiator mesh which looks quite good. With some dry brushing you will be good to go. By the way, we have some external features on the tire walls which is also great. And here you can see wheel rims from the opposite side. And if the parts are glued with uh, several elements, we have all the necessary guiding elements. So it's not like you will have to do a guesswork. And that's really great because it will help you with overall alignment and it will make it easier to get the right fitment throughout the model. Next, we continue with the smaller sprue. Here we have various parts for the rear uh, suspension. I would say rear wheel axle because basically you have to combine them all together and this part will be connected with the uh, front cap. But here we have a van so I guess the overall structure will be covered with the rear section. Next we continue with a new part. 
So here we have first panel for the uh, van version. That's a roof panel. As you can see, four attachment points. And we have quite nice uh, molding quality. Here we have some internal features as well, but we also have some push marks. So pay attention to this because uh, if you plan to open the doors and I hope that there is such assembly option it will be unusual not to get it in Minyard so you will have to think through how to hide these things let's say next we continue with the side panel so this one will be attached to the front cap nothing difficult in my opinion and we have view arches also promoted so here you can see also some guiding elements I guess they will be uh, helping you to get the right alignment with the floor and another new sprue, it's a sprue EA. So here we have all the necessary parts for the rear section. So another side of the rear section, we also have wheel fenders which are molded separately and they will be aligned with help of these arches. Next, we continue with the rear doors. So I guess if they are coming as a separate parts, it will be possible to open them on your model. And here we have a floor for this model. I guess that's approximately the same part as what we had in a pickup version, let's say. Next, we continue with the last gray plastic sprue. So this one is dedicated for the front cap parts. And I would say it's pretty much the same as what we saw in the first release. We have various engine parts. We also have separate doors. So as you remember, you can open them. And that's a really cool feature because this um, vehicle, if we can call it so, it had so named uh, suicide doors. So that's why it will be quite, I would say, eye-catching uh, scene if you assemble it with open doors. Next we continue with P fret and here we have quite an interesting bonus because as you can see we have two versions of this now front grille one is uh, with the logo one is just a plain front grille and of course it's really cool that we get the name plate in case you plan to uh, let's say build this vehicle on some custom stand it will be handy in order to use on this stand. Next I'm opening another plastic bag with the clear parts and decals. So clear parts are provided on this sprue. As I said there are no masks included so be ready to mask all this stuff. It might be a bit difficult for beginners but I think it's doable and the overall shapes are not that complicated I would say because there are plain parts. And next we continue with decals sheet. It comes from Decograph. Printing quality is really great and Decograph uh, decals are really easy to work with. I can recommend them because I have some experience with them and they're really uh, great in applying. They don't require any additional mediums to be used. Next we continue with assembly manual. So this one is typical for mini art. Here we have a cover printed brochure with a short list of the features on the cover. Next we continue with the first marking option, it's a Deutsch Reichpost. Next we continue with the parts map, as usual unused parts are not marked. Assembly process starts with the front cap. You can also detail your vehicle with a metal wire, so be sure to have it if you would like to have uh, better details. Next we continue with assembly of the rear section, as you can see it's a matter of combining separate panels together. Then we assemble the engine, again it can be detailed with metal wires if you would like to. There are several assembly options for the front bonnet and you can also assemble it in the open position. That's really cool, but I would rather just not glue it into the place and then it will make it possible to remove it on your model in order to expose the engine underneath. Next we continue with the second marking option, third, fourth, and here we have the fifth marking option with the red grill, which was on the box art. So this tiny vehicle should be already available and you can get it in Madeli Max web shop. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.